In this video, I'm gonna be replacing the DOC outlet temperature sensor. It's gonna be this one right here. The reason I'm gonna replace it is because one of the cables on the inside of the plug, I'll show you right now, uh, came loose. I was getting cold SPN 3250 mid temperature. The check engine light and the amber light will come on. It, it will shut down on the road. So I had to solder the, the cable. Luckily I had my solder gun and everything right here. Um, so I was able to fix it just to get back home and, and replace the whole sensor. So first you're gonna have to remove the steps. You have the four bolts right here and four on the bottom. And you're gonna need a Torx 40, a T40 to remove this bolt. To unplug it, you just have to just bring it down from here. Just to, just, these clips are holding it. And push out this red tab, push it out like this one right here. Uh, like right now it's not unlocked because I was working on it. And then you just press this tab down and pull the, the plug out. So right there is unplugged. As you can see, I had to solder it just so I can get back home. On the inside, just the, the inside came loose. So I soldered it, but I'm gonna replace the, the sensor. I don't wanna have any issues no more. So I'm gonna put some WD-40 just around the nut. I'm gonna let it sit for a while. Hopefully it'll make it easier to get out. And also I'm gonna use a propane torch to heat it up right here. I'm gonna be using one of these wrenches this uh 1116 and i'm gonna try to take it out with this one first and if if this method doesn't work if it's too tight i'm just gonna cut off the this part right here because the sensor is trash anyways so i'm just gonna cut it off and use a regular socket if if the if the nut starts to strip so i'm gonna hit it up using this torch So I'm gonna try this first. It's very tight. So I'm gonna use a grinder to cut this off. So now I'm using a regular socket and I'm using a long ratchet. So I'm gonna see if this works. So right there is loose. I'm gonna add some more WD-40. Feels kind of hard. But I wanna break the, the one box. Yeah, it feels better now.
So I was trying to put in the, the new sensor, but the old thread, it's stripped from the inside already. I guess the, the other person that installed it, uh, they didn't put it in straight or whatever the reason it was. It's the, the thread inside is damaged. I couldn't just, just put in the new one. So I wasn't able to use the same thread. Uh, the thread got messed up. So I bought this one at the dinner. This is a brand new one. So I brought it to a shop right here. And I'm gonna get it weld. I'm gonna remove this one and get this one welded into the same place. And then just bring in the whole thing. So the mechanic is finished welding the fitting so if you were able to use your 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 same fitting if the thread is still good you just screw it back in screw in the new sensor and you just plug in the the plug over here just put it back in place still gotta still gotta finish it right here just push it in and I'm gonna put some zip tights on this wires right here. Just put some zip tights. And that's basically it. Put back the, the step. So if you're interested in buying the, the fittings, you can get them at the Freely Liner dealer. These are the part numbers that I bought. They're pretty cheap. They're like $13 around there. I'm not exactly sure what the part number for this one is I bought a uh, different fittings so I'm not sure which one is the one for this one but it should be one of these but just ask the dealer to give you the one for the DOC outlet temperature sensor and I bought a couple others in case I need to do the the other ones so that's it for this video and thank you for watching